Any song warriors in their path. Okay, time to sack this city. Hello everyone, this is Jason from Force Hammer Gaming, back with our playthrough of the Age of Empires 4 campaign. So, let's do the next mission, 1273, The Fall of Chiang Yang. Crippled by the loss of their supply route, the twin cities of Shangyang and Fengcheng were ready to fall. The Mongols' new long-range trebuchets would test the mighty walls of the Song Fortress, and Kublai Khan would not stop the bombardment until he sat on the throne of all China. All right, let's do this. Okay, let's go. After years of resisting Kublai Khan's siege, Fan Cheng and Shang Yang still refused to submit to Mongol rule. Until now. To take the cities, Kublai Khan would harness the full power of his empire by enlisting an ally from the Ilkhanate of Persia. Okay. A siege expert would lead the Mongol army in the construction of the Huihui Hui Pao, an immensely powerful counterweight trebuchet. This new trebuchet, once constructed, could hurl boulders greater in size than any weapon before it. Nice. Prepare your siege engines. Will do. During the years long siege, Kublai Khan had established lucrative trade routes with Chinese market towns who swore loyalty to him. Although these trade partners were vulnerable to Song attacks, they could deliver valuable resources to fund Ismail's efforts. Okay. Defend your allies to maintain trade income. Oh. Okay, got some here, some here. Let's put them here. Okay. Okay. Need more traders. Uh, let's see. Where is my market? Oh, actually, before I do that, I'm just gonna set up a military. Sorry, one sec. Hmm. What should you do? You shall chop wood. The you... Mongol commercial network could supply Ismail in stone so long as he had enough traders on the road. Okay. Hold on. You hit it, so that's not no 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 no. That's an ovo. Arsenal. Okay, guess I have to build a market. Build it right there. Definitely still need more peasants. I keep calling them pe peasants, but they're villagers. Pasture. 
Okay. Attack. I mean, sorry. Oh, we got enemies. Ooh, nice. Can I do anything with this outpost? No, I can't. Whoops. Hold on. Okay, gonna get more traders going. Do I have gold mine somewhere? What's this? Silver tree. Oh, that's where my market is. Okay. Silly me for not noticing that. Okay. Let's trade with... Where is your market? Right there. You will trade with this market. Okay. Wonder, can they trade? Okay. Yep. Over here. Oof. Okay. I need to upgrade this as soon as I can. Where the hell are my forces? Okay. Whoops. Okay. Let's see, you need to build... Archer... Okay, so I have to use Ismail to construct the... Ugh, need a lot of stone. Not enough resources, okay. Dang it! Okay. You know, I'm gonna leave some of my forces here, and I'm gonna bring some of my forces there. Okay, maybe one more barracks. Bad thing is that I can't manually collect or trade for stone. Okay. 
Actually, no, I don't need that. Man, it takes a while for it to come to the uh, next area. Okay, you... What do I have a lot of? I have a lot of wood. Prove some of this uh, technology. Let's see, siege. <laughs> Oh, you know, I can build something there. Huh. Okay, might as well just grab one of my, uh, let's see, word cutters. Actually, you know what? I need a siege workshop. Things are going okay so far. Whoops! Ah, retreat! Dang, leader's dead. Okay, whatever. Song forces destroyed one of the market towns trading with Kublai Khan's army. Only one trade route remained open to the Mongols. Okay, I guess I should get some of my uh, cavalry over there. Oh, that's a lot. Hold on. Better get my full army there then. Uh, 
Mainly I just need to save my injured leader there. Yes, rescue our leader. Bring him back. And that person walked all the way over here because I didn't have a gur. Okay. Guess this was taken out. Okay, I think you have enough to build one of these things. Still need more crossbows. Uh, let's see. Actually, no. Let's stick with the elite horsemen. Spearmen. Counterweight trebuchet constructed. The Mongols could mount their assault on the twin cities. The hell was shooting at me. As Ismail's trebuchet had a far greater range than those of the Song defenders, the Mongols could attack from a safe distance. Okay, this way.
Yeah. That's annoying. Okay, construction. Drawn to the bombardment nice. from the trebuchet, the Song soldiers left gaps elsewhere in their defense, which the Mongols could exploit. Come on. And boom. Nope, you can't hit me. Oh, this still bow still going. Want to destroy all these defenses here. Uh, Imperial Falcon. What's that? Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so I need a few of my villagers to come over here. Uh, not that many. That should be good. Wonder if I should give them an escort or not. Uh. Yep, there are my villagers there. Okay, gotta make sure there's nothing that can attack them. Just gonna get rid of this. Uh, these guys keep attacking. Oh, 
Okay. Those are done. So I'm gonna just save quickly. Wonder if I can hit any of the buildings over there. Okay, we use one village, I mean, uh, bridge made. With the bridge rebuilt, the doors to Fan Cheng were wide open. Uh, where's my other army? Okay, there you go. Nope, run. Go back to village. Okay, both army groups here. Alright, let's do this. swept into Fan Cheng, striking down any Song warriors in their path. Okay, time to sack this city. They destroy the Barbican. What's that? Oh, okay. Just let my trebuchets handle that from a distance. If okay, can you build another one? Okay. 
Just gonna wait right here. Maybe I'll just charge it instead. And this should be down. Boom. Or not. There you go. your leader there. I think most of the defenders are almost dead. Just the last few here. Yes! Sacking complete. After years of holding out against the Mongols, the first of the Twin Cities finally fell to Kublai Khan's army. All that now stood between Kublai Khan and the throne of China was the final stronghold of the Song, the city of Shanyang. Okay, sack that city. You Using got it. Using the immense range of the great trebuchet, Ismail aimed to lay waste to Shangyan's great keep. Bro, you know, do I even need to go over there? Maybe my trebuchets have enough range. I'll just let these guys sack whatever they want. Oh, shoot! Okay, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Ah. Okay. Where is my builder guy? Oh, actually, can you revive him? Thank you. Nice. Awesome. Thank you for helping with the construction. Can we build another one quickly? Maybe you should chop trees again. Okay, trebuchets. Wanna destroy these gun outposts first. Oh what? The hell's shooting at me? Just want to see. Okay, if I go here, actually, if I go hit that, ah, 
nope, nope, hold on. Need to slow. Okay, I don't know what the heck's hitting me. Something with really long range. Even longer than this. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. You... Have we already got this? This is this. Okay. All right, they can launch from there. Good. Ismail's counterweight trebuchet proved its might, shaking the earth and shattering the spirits of the song. The great keep of Shangyang had fallen. With Shangyang's gate undefended, the Mongols could now repair the connecting bridge to the Song stronghold. Okay. <laughs> So this guy can repair, so that's good. Alright, I guess he can't. Whoops! Dope. Okay, revive him quickly, please. Then get out. Seriously, what the heck is hitting me from that far? Oh, must be that tower over there. Okay, need to get more uh, peasants. Hmm. See if I can hit those with the trebuchet. Okay, and also I need all of you to meet up here. Finished. Ah. Okay, and almost done. Okay, can I hit buildings? Can I hit this thing? Okay, where are my villagers? Up oh, there they are. This is almost boom. Boom. Okay. Okay, let's just do a quick save. Okay. 
Stop. With the city in disarray, the Mongols were free to tear down the Imperial Palace. Sweet. Okay, where's the Imperial Palace? Ah, it's over there. Okay. Where's my other army? There you go. Sorry, one sec, gotta select this guy, there we go. Okay. Alright. Advance! Warriors flooded the streets of Shanyang as the Song defenders rose to make a desperate last stand. I have no idea how much damage this is taking, but hopefully it's taking damage. Okay, time to build up another army. You know, just to speed things up, I'm just going to make it all cavalry. In a sec. Uh, let's build a stable. Okay. Let's build a gur here. Okay. Okay. Do I have any barracks left? Huh, oh, guess not. Sorry, this is taking a bit longer than I thought. Gotta destroy that Imperial Palace ASAP. Okay. Blacksmith. Needs to be in range of an oboe. Oh, whatever. 
That's coming along, I think. Oh, they're coming out, huh? All right. Whoops. Oh, can we build another ovo? Okay, back to grabbing food. Not enough resources. Okay. Okay, I think we got a pretty sizable army going here. Let's just wait for a few more units. Okay, good enough. Let's do this. Run him down. Just gonna queue up some soldiers just in case I need to again. All right, continue charging.
Oh, I think they see me. Just get inside, get inside. Okay, now attack whoever you want. So let's revive these leaders. Oh, I have an injured leader where... Uh, last of the defenders. Gotta get. Hold on, let me destroy the gate. There we go. Alright, time to set fire. And. Sacked! Finally! Shang Yang, the great bastion of the Song Dynasty, had fallen. Kublai Khan had finished what his grandfather, Genghis Khan, had started. And now, he could establish his own great dynasty and sit on the throne of all China. Okay. Good for Kublai Khan. Victory! Hard-fought victory. Those defenders in the city held out a lot longer than I thought, and they were a lot more numerous, too. The Mongol army smashed through Shangyan's defenses and captured the city. Kublai Khan then pursued the remnants of the Song Dynasty across southern China. In 1279, at the Battle of Yamen, the Mongols destroyed the last defenders of the Song. Kublai Khan now ruled over all China, founding the Yuan Dynasty. Very nice. Good for him. His royal court in Shangdu welcomed scholars, traders, and religious leaders. Might have been a cool place to visit. The Mongols demonstrated civility and religious tolerance. But also brutality and violence. Oh yes, definitely a lot of that. Typifying the contradictions within the Mongol Empire. Since Genghis Khan first united the Mongolian tribes, they had made incredible advances in technology and trade. And they created indelible connections between East and West. At its height, almost a hundred million people lived under Mongol rule, a quarter of the world's population. That is definitely a lot of people. The Mongol Empire endured for less than 200 years 
before fragmenting into smaller territories. But its legend continues to this day. Genghis Khan's mission was to unite the world into one empire. Yet he always returned to the Mongolian steppe, where the endless grasslands lay beneath the eternal sky. And from where he created one of the largest empires the world has ever known. Most definitely. Okay, so uh, that is it for the Mongol Empire campaign. I hope you enjoyed watching it. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to check out my other social media accounts in the description below. Until next time, this is Jason from Force Hammer Gaming, signing off.